what up what up what up what's going on guys so starting my vlog with a sunday casual coffee i'm gonna quickly show you guys my fit so hat is fear of god Zenya. uh this one i picked it up quite a while ago and honestly it's one of my favorite hats to wear whenever it gets warm here in uh in canada this is one of my new favorite coats this is a coat by sodberg a brand based out of uh germany honestly what a beautiful coat man i just recently got it and it's definitely been my go-to i love the details on it this little strap on the side uh in my recent pickups video which i don't know if it's gonna come before this one or after this one but anyway i'm gonna talk about this in more detail and then um on feet i have the filling pieces sneakers and then some sweatpants by advisory which is a brand based out of la i believe uh but yeah really casual fit of course, my sunglasses by a better feeling. The gloves are also by Sodberg. Uh, what a beautiful pair, man. Look at these details. So good. Love these. Yeah, Sunday fit. It's casual, but still put together. Yo, just ran into my nig. What up, nigga? What's up? Yeah, you do that too? You have to. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that, bro. It was good service. These are nice ones. I don't do that. Thank you. Yeah. Week after you are back in the concert, and I feel like nothing happened. And then, and then, Cleo was saying like he started pushing everyone away, but like that was his way of breathing. And he. Alright guys, what's up? So, it is Wednesday today? No, it's Tuesday. I recently started my uh, sort of training program. Um, I got a coach, actually, it's one of the guys that I uh, uh, that goes to the same gym as me, and I actually just approached him because, honestly, I had been looking to improve sort of my style of training, and just, I haven't been on a program since probably my uni days. So I was like, you know what, I'm kind of looking forward to the summer, and I kind of want to get in a good conditioning, but also not really focus too, too much on like, looking super lean and super like shredded but just most so focus on getting in good conditioning i always set goals for the year what i want to accomplish in terms of my fitness and health and these things man guys they're exciting for me man i'm someone that loves um to have a structure in my life and have you know things that i want to accomplish even in terms of like fashion but also in terms of fitness and just looking good and being healthy and aging well man that's those things that are like super important for me so um uh, this is currently what I'm having. This is this rice right here. It's Ben's rice and actually I use uh, An app to sort of dot down everything that I'm eating on a daily basis Which I later uh, insert in a sheet and the coach is able to view it and see if there's any tweaks that he can make and even my training program and one of the things that's actually pretty fun is I hadn't been on a training program since uni days, you know, which was back in 2015, 16, right? 15, 14. So uh, now that I'm back on it, my body is already like, you know, adapting in such a way that I've never seen it adapt before because it's something new. Because the last few years, I've just kind of been doing my own thing. Obviously, I also know how to count my own macros. And if I want to get lean, I can do that. But it's always good to have someone close by that's just more experienced than you or maybe that potentially studied these type of things because then they can really help you uh uh you know reach your goals without necessarily having to be in a super huge caloric deficit and things like that so anyway uh you know i know most of you are here for fashion but yeah these are just some of the things i feel like it goes hand in hand i like to tell you guys like man you can't be dressing well and not be in good shape. You have to take care of your body. You wanna wear designer clothes, everything has to match. You know, your home, your finances, your body, everything, like to me, that's how I view sort of luxury and fashion and clothing and fitness. Everything is just aligned and it's intertwined and everything works well together. So you have to be disciplined in all areas of your life. That's how I usually approach it. So yeah, man, so I'm gonna quickly eat this rice. I'm making some chicken right now, I just showed you guys that. And then I'm gonna work a little bit and then I'll have another meal, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna record it before I head out to the gym. Uh, and yeah. So I thought I'll quickly go through the workout just to kind of talk about it a little bit. So as you guys can see, um, I started off with uh, some deadlifts. Uh, I'm just really light, 145 pounds. So what I've been doing is two to three warm up sets and then I move on to 225 I believe yeah so 225 pounds 
uh, for uh, three reps. This was my last warm up, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, as you can see, it's moving pretty well. I'm really trying to drive through my legs. Um, so three reps here, and then that was it. After the last warm up, we moved into 315. I think this was my second set of three reps at 315. I mean, it moved all right. I think it could definitely move better, uh, but obviously I'm in a caloric deficit, so some of this weight feels a little bit quite heavy, but yeah. That was uh, pretty much it in terms of deadlifts. Um, I did go back down to 265. After that, I kind of moved into some normal, just uh, back workouts, some lat pull downs and rows, and then finished off with some cardio. I'm currently doing cardio twice a week. So on uh, Monday, which is my leg day, and then on uh, uh, Wednesday, which is my uh, deadlift day. So yeah, uh, one is a hit cardio and the other one is more chilled, just walking with an incline on the treadmill. So man, I cannot wait to do my uh, recent pickups video because I feel like I have so much to show you guys. Coat by Rick Owens that you guys have seen me style on uh, Instagram a few times now. I think I've done a quite a few outfits with it. So I kept it pretty casual, honestly, because anytime that I'm heading uh, downtown to try on a couple pieces, I like to keep my outfit pretty chill so that it's just easier to throw on uh, the stuff that I want to try on. Man, I can't wait to talk about this coat when I do my recent pickups video because you guys are gonna love this one and the story behind it and how I was able to find it for steel is gonna be crazy. So definitely stay tuned for that recent pickups. What I might actually do is make a whole video on this coat because it's just so beautiful. But yeah, I wish you guys could see it. Obviously you can see the wide shoulder, the padded shoulders by Rick Owens that just look absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah. All right guys, so I'm back home right now and I'm quickly gonna go over the pieces that I tried on. Uh, starting off with Uniqlo. Now Uniqlo is one of those places that I usually tend to drop by. And a lot of the times I do find myself wearing uh, some of the Uniqlo pieces a lot more consistently. So uh, starting off with the first piece, it was this trench coat beautiful color if you're looking for something like a trench coat for spring this would be it you know I love the details the buns and the weight covers the neck is really nice uh, and the color is pretty good if you're not looking for something black but you still you still want something that's a little bit more of a dark color this would be a great color to to uh, to purchase and the bottoms are actually by Uniqlo as well they're just a simple uh, cuffed pair of sweatpants and I think they were a around $39 and honestly if you look at them with these sneakers they look really good like this is just such a simple spring outfit just very very casual but of course the trench coat will be sort of like the statement piece in this look uh, and then I head over to Simon's which is where I really wanted to try on a couple of pieces from uh, Julius. Julius is one of those brands that I've always been interested in and Junjae, of course, uh, the cargo trousers, I had actually showcased them uh, a couple weeks ago on my story. Uh, so I want to try them on again, just to kind of see if they would be a good fit with a pair of sneakers. And man, these are amazing. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, I kept this bomber by Jun J pretty much throughout all the outfits, but these uh, sweatpants are by Julius. These are track pants for the spring, summer 2022. I actually don't think we're getting them um, and they're quite expensive. Like Julius pieces are really expensive, but I mean, just look at the shape of this man. Compared to the Uniqlo, cuffed pants you can really see the difference between between these track pants and the uniqlo trousers that i tried on um it's just the shape and the silhouette of these just look absolutely amazing it makes the sneaker stand out and then you can throw on a bomber or even a trench coat and look really really good yeah these are definitely on my list now i did try to see if we're getting them like i said and i don't think we are and i would actually get them in this exact color because i feel like i already have so much black even though they would obviously look great in black. I feel like this is a spring color and they would look really nice. And then uh, we moved into another outfit. This one is uh, Julius pants as well. 
Uh, I forgot what these ones are called, but these ones were a little bit slim, to be honest. This was a size two. I would have preferred a size three or even four because in the waist, they were okay, but in my thighs, as you can see, um, they're quite tight, to be honest, but they look good. They look good with sneakers. They could also look good with like a nice pair of chunky derbies, like my Balenciaga ones, for example. Uh, but overall, this is a great look, very simple. And then we moved into my favorite pair that I wanted to talk to you guys about. This is June J cargo trousers. These we are getting and I cannot wait. I keep checking when they're coming in because these I'm definitely gonna buy because they're just beautiful, man. Look at the, the, the side pockets. And one thing that I really love about these is how comfortable and just oversized they are. And I don't have that many pieces like that in my wardrobe. I don't have that many trousers like that in my wardrobe. So these would definitely be a go-to. I tried them on with my Florence black hoodie and I really loved sort of the tighter hoodie with the baggier pair of uh, cargo trousers and some sneakers. I actually think they would look really good styled with my Chuck Taylors that I recently purchased. So that's a look that I'm definitely gonna try. And then in the second fit, I kind of wanted to show you guys what it would look like layered again with the June J Bomber. And as you can see, this look is just unbelievable in my opinion. This is everything that I love about clothes, comfortable, but still really well put together. And there's so much detail into the clothes, right? You have the cargo trousers with the side pockets, the bomber, which has got a good oversizedness to it, but not too much. And then just a simple hoodie just to finish the look and some good and a good pair of sneakers. These sneakers, guys, you guys that have been following me for a while, you guys know these sneakers I'm a go-to, man. They go so well with so many pieces in my wardrobe, whether it's a pair of shorts, a pair of cargos, like, like these ones by Jun Jae. Um, love those sneakers. I was actually thinking of getting a different colorway for the summer, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's everything. That's all I tried on at Simon's. Definitely looking forward to when we get some of these pieces at Essence. So stay tuned on that recent pickups video as well that I talked about. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching the vlog. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy this regular content. And let me know what you guys think about me touching on fitness. I know some of you are here just for fashion, but I definitely love to incorporate fitness and just what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I feel like it's part of fashion, it's part of who I am, you know? Uh, and when I do these vlogs, uh, I do want to make sure that they're completely authentic and that I'm providing some sort of value. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Other than that, appreciate you guys always. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, G-R-E-G-N-T-O-R-E. -E. If you wanna see some outfit ideas, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.